Hi guys, White Witch 110 here. This is Witch's Brew. We're in the kitchen with Hubby today. We bought some beef. There's some. And there's some. Costco. We always get lean. This half is going to be used for mini meatloafs that we will put in the food saver. We can have those for dinner and for lunch. And this half is going to be put into shepherd's pie. And that will be put into these containers from Costco. So one of these containers him and I can share unless either of us are really hungry, but half for sure. So that each one of these will do one meal for us, either for home or for work. And then the same with the, the mini meatloafs. They can be for home or for work too. So he's just getting the ground beef done. Now what's in the ground beef? Is that just pepper and salt? Salt and pepper to start with. And then we're going to be cheating. We're going to be using instant spuds. Oh, horrors, but yeah, instant spuds right now. And then we have cream corn. This is the other layer. We have to go and get more. And I s I'll show you the flowers that Hubby got me. And these are the flowers that he got me. Pretty, huh? Very pretty. Focus. Oh, yes. Little pink ones. They're so pretty. And there's another one of those roses. They're gorgeous. Just a little something. Absolutely beautiful. Actually, the colors in that flower kind of go with the flowers right there. Look at that. Now, Hubby's meatloaf has vegetable soup. But he doesn't like peas. So the peas are being evicted. Aren't they? He does not like oh, that cream corn. Yummy. Grown and packed in Canada. That's always good. He's going to mix it all in the roasting pan. I have Ghost Brothers on Detour Channel We're going. Look at that nice lean beef. Now Boo used to eat the peas, but he's gone off them. But he likes mushrooms and he likes corn and he will rub his face on a potato just go spastic or if we have a bag not the plastic bag so much but the paper bag he will go right up and rub his whole body on it very strange cat but that's okay one by one Peas are going out. I got some nice fresh cheese bread. Look at that. Nice and fresh. That's from our Blah Blah store. Yummy. The weather is beautiful here. It's 39 degrees Fahrenheit and it's sunny and we are so happy because we're tired of the snow 
We're tired of the dirty snow. We can't really say cold because we haven't had too many really cold days. So, that's a plus. But it's nice to have sunshine. Although with where we have our TVs, unless we keep the curtains closed, you get that shadow of the windows. But that's the way it is. Oh, yummy. Now he mushes it together with his hands. One of our neighbors, when we went out this morning, or it smelt like they were cooking a ham. And then we came home and it smelt like a roast. And some disgusting person. Okay. Did something that they shouldn't have. What you looking for? What? Turn it down? Take it off. Take it off? Wow. No, you'll end up burning yourself that way. The spoon went in the garbage. It was not in good condition. Yes, it was. Ow! I just got watered on. Oh, you took me. I took his spoon. That spoon was my spoon. It's got flavor on that spoon. Yeah, I got no flavor. No. You'll just have to get new ones and put new flavor. It tastes like a cake, because I always used it for my cake. Oh, there you go. I just have to get a new one and use it for everything. <laughs> Today was a good day at Costco. We got the few things that we needed. Medication was number one. Now this is the size of our little meat loaf tins. Which of course you can use for banana bread or little cakes. We have three of these. I watch down in our laundry room and if there's any of these or like with the cupcake pins, if they're down there, grab them, bring them up, wash them. Especially with the cupcakes, that's been so much easier. I think we have four of them now. Like I said, we have three of these. Flop them in. The master is at work. we have eight. There's just a little bit left. So he may beef up some of the others. There you go. 
Yeah, when we go to Costco, we take stock of what's in the freezer. And then hubby decides what he's going to make. If it's going to be the spaghetti sauce you've seen, or the meat and the meat pies. But we thought we'd, he thought he'd do a change and do the meatloafs in the shepherd's pie. Because where we work, there's a company that comes in with some food. And I've been enjoying their meat, their uh, shepherd's pie. So now we decided, uh, or he decided that he make this up. He's just using what's left. So this will be for four meals for each of us. Like I said, he'll they'll be cooked and then cooled, and then he'll use the food saver, and then they'll go right into the freezer. This is where if we had an apartment size deep freeze, that uh, we'd be making a lot more. What we haven't done in a long time too is lasagna. Where we used to live, we made that a few times. We haven't since we moved here. So that maybe that maybe that was just the soap. So that might be in the future one. Or I might make my ricotta spinach cannelloni. That's looking good. Now you put the little ones in at 375 for five minutes, half an hour, depending on your oven. Twenty minutes, half an hour, depending on your oven. If it's ours, sometimes it could be three days. Just joking. That's coming up nice and brown. Oh. Matt, if you're watching this, is your mouth watering yet? See, now you guys live so far. All the way of pickering. If you lived here, you could be partaking. Hubby just came up with a great idea. He's going to assemble in the containers, place them into the freezer, let them freeze, and then take them out of these containers and then use the food saver. So this way we won't have the containers in there taking up space on a constant basis. And there'll be no air, because there'll be air left with using the lids. Very good idea. Ah. Stepping on an egg carton. Out of my way. <laughs> Steaming hot. Steaming hot goodness. Yeah, we're at Costco, and the conversation was, do we need eggs? I don't know if we need eggs. Well, I don't know if we need eggs either. Uh, something tells, we, tells me we might. So, we buy a flat of eggs. We get home, open up the fridge, and we already have one that hasn't been opened. So now we have, like, Two and a half flats of eggs. 
time to start having egg salad sandwiches and eggs in your salad and baking and all that good stuff. Now I asked him if he wanted to use that spoon and he said no. <laughs> that looks good. A lot of people don't like cream corn. I guess it's the consistency, but I like it. My dad liked it. And we, do we have enough for one more? We went out and bought like six cans, but that's okay because I like it. Mix it with milk. Cream corn and milk? Okay, y'all. Tell me if you've ever had that. Cream corn with milk in a bowl. I never. Put milk in with cream corn and then you cook it and. Yeah. Must be an Ottawa thing. He, he loves saying that to me if I say something. Like when I talk about my potato chips and ice cream. That must be a Toronto thing. Everybody thinks it's gross, but you have to try it. My favorite was always chocolate ice cream. So I get chocolate ice cream. Whip it, mix it with my spoon till it was smooth. And then I would put potato chips in it after I ate some of it that the regular way I like that extra crunch you might have to do who so once he's finished with that these are going to go into as we said, the freezer. Gonna give them time to, to freeze up. And then he'll take them out of the containers and vacuum pack them. What are we looking for? That looks good. I stopped the squash I haven't eaten. I should eat that soon. Got some nice... I think they were clementines I picked up. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, High Times Exploring is on live. That's Anthony. Hi, Times Exploring. You should check him out. And there it is. Already. We go into the freezer. Those are my banana lollipops. Lollipops? No. Popsicles. So he's got to make two more of the potato. Hubby's in the kitchen. Our little pantry. These are good. I seen James, the fam, eating those. Him and Chelsea in their new house. So exciting. I'm so happy for them. Ignore that. Okay. We got that big pot out. While well, we're waiting for that, that is my binder with everything that I have read to you guys. That was my first ones from my personal experiences. To, ah, what's that one? National War Memorial. Wow. The little tabs. Yule. Yeah. 
And I write done on them so I know. The Grand Theater here. That's one of my stories. Tons. And tons. So every time I finish reading something, that's where it goes. And this. These are the ones. Expo 67, High Park, Bernie Park, Hotel, Expo 80. I went to Expo 86. And then all my ideas for different... See, I got a lot of them crossed off. And then places and people from Canada. Busy, busy. This is a book that I read usually in the mornings. And today's is Thought of the Wind Spell. The World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts celebrates February 22nd as World Thinking Day, which focuses on the global connectivity and personal impact. Even if you're not hubby speaking faces. Where was I? Even if you're not part of the organization, take a moment to reflect on how we are all interconnected and the impact you can have on others. What is one thing that you excel at that you wish to share more of with the world? How can that ability impact others positively? Light your favorite incense in a transportable container that you can hold. As you contemplate, watch how the smoke filters into the air around you, dispersing everywhere. When the answer comes to you, take the incense and circle the room you are in three times clockwise, saying, Element of air, carry my thoughts on your winds to all corners of the earth. May I be able to give others support the way air guides the sails of ships. That's a nice one for today, I think. Yeah. That's it. Now let's have a... Well, cats. Oh. This place smells divine, let me tell you. Oh. I'm eating an air biscuit. We always had them at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just the same as the others. And now, look at them. Oh, nice and juicy. So this is definitely going to be dinner. Look at that. Look at that goodness. Isn't your mouth just watering? Damn, it's cooked. Mmm. So this was in the kitchen with hubby. To my loyal subscribers, I hope you try this out. And if you do, let me know how it turns out. Thank you for coming by as always. Appreciate and love you guys. If you're just passing through, check out the other videos as well. Give them a thumbs up if you like them. Leave me a comment. I do get back to them. And share it out if you think anybody else would be interested while you're here consider subscribing and if you do subscribe remember to hit the notification bell so as always look at that hey he took it away hmm ciao for now